All right, y'all, I got a video for y'all. Black YouTube has lost the plot. Black YouTube video has gotten even worse, so. My little sister got a BBL oh. asking homeless people freaky questions. Yo. Little RT 20v1. This is actually. The little RT 20v1 was fucking nuts, okay? I'm gonna be real. I think everybody that had anything to do with that video, jokey or not, y'all niggas need to be arrested, if we being completely honest. Cause the shit was creepy. The shit was creepy, bro. Getting out of hand. A few months ago, I dropped a video titled The Problem with Black YouTube. And in that video, I basically talked about how I feel like there's two types of black content creators. One kind cares about their content and what they actually put out on the internet. And Agreed. the other kind basically just trend hops and spams the most horniest content possible. All the Facts. public interviews and like 20v1 spamming YouTubers. And that video has gotten a lot of mixed feedback, you know? I'm not gonna lie, bro. I feel like a lot of people, Aaron Twin for real. Okay, all right, don't attack me too. I, I, come on, bro. Like, what the shit? I feel like a lot of people, bro, especially in the black content creator space, they chase what works and not really try to innovate right and i know that's like crazy coming from like a reaction youtuber but if you ever take the time to realize how much effort we put into our reacts content you'd understand we actually put care and thought into the reacts content we don't just follow the trend and on top of that even with our gaming content it's it's always trying to find our spin on gaming how do we put our own spin on gaming how do we improve gaming with it how do we improve streaming how do we become better content creators we're always thinking subjectively not objectively in the sense of i see this works for other people and it works it should work for me but as always how do we like do bring our our own thing to it that's why we have the streams as characters that's why we have the streams as and we game as characters the different little bit it's all within an attempt to improve our content now i'm not saying that type of content is bad content and i'm also not saying that that type of content is is not good content i just feel like 20 v ones are whatever they are but i also feel like what black content creation is for the for the grand scheme of things it feels like copy and paste right and i feel like it's in that's essentially what all of youtube is copy and paste but i feel like black youtube gets a bad rep for it because with black youtube it feels like there isn't much improvement or development beyond that like i have a couple friends who do or not really friends but a couple content creators i know that do the 20 v1 and they make Making, killing but at the end of the day bro like it's it it gets to a point like all right we we doing this too much let's expand let's do something more let's let's switch it up and i think that's a i think that's where the place where a lot of content creators are and like let's say it's okay to take inspirations for channel but i think we all have to continue to improve some people said that i was spitting in that video a lot of people even gave me a lot of props for speaking up about this issue and then some people thought that what i was saying was kind of a, a, a little uncle ruckusy some people were even saying that i wasn't the best spokesperson for this because i speak proper and i sound white even though i mean i i'm pretty sure last time i checked i'm black i don't know y'all tell me i guess i gotta sound black as well i don't know how a black person is supposed to sound i feel like and i feel but like right there if we if we be subjective i think right there that's where you lose people bro how you said that shit nigga how you put that out there Th that sentence alone is how you cut your audience in half and you even further that belief and ideology that people have about you just from how you worded that sentence you feel me i'm like i get what you're saying but how you worded that you, you can't you know what i'm saying down, but y'all tell me in the comment section below overall there was a lot of mixed feedback with that video and in today's video i actually wanted to return to that topic of black youtube once again because i've been seeing some things and i'm not gonna lie it's low-key getting insane starting with these 20 v ones now these 20 v ones they were pretty popular like six seven months ago and they're still pretty popular till today if you're unfamiliar with the 20 v one i mean basically it's one person versus 20 other people and they just speed date each person each round that's pretty much it now like i said these 20 20v1s are still popular till this day and nothing's really changed with these except for instead of using adults they are now using children as you guys saw in the intro yes there was a creator out here i think Lil rt was like a one of one though i think a little art the Lil rt video was a one of one truth be told i think the little rt because i think Lil rt is a rapper or something like that and so i think that's a one of one video and truth be told it the video was meant to be comical um and to do a play on it it did just feel like eh. and i didn't watch watched the video but a lot of people who, who did see the video and a lot of the clips i saw of the video it's like eh, you know what i'm saying who created a 20v1 with 
Yo, Aaron, I question. Did you get inspiration from another YouTuber to do the characters? No, that's all me, actually. Little RT, the 10 year old rapper. If that is not insane, I don't know what is. I genuinely don't. Instead of using Little RT as a side character like that one guy did, he's now upgraded to a main character and they got this man speed dating children. But yeah, that's like the only changes they've made with these 20B1s. Other than that, everything else is pretty much yeah. the same. Still scamming their fans with the Cash App link in the description, claiming that you're going to make $750. And we already know how that goes. Cash App is not giving you $750 dollars for free that just doesn't make sense that to this day bro i know so many people doing that shit i don't know how it works i ain't speaking on it it i shit i seen some shorty say she got it i don't know if she did it she did but a lot of people do it's it's all about bro get off this nigga head let god damn damn shut up leave this nigga alone that's a terrible business move. They're still using the exact same intros as one another. And they're also yeah. still using the exact same profile pictures yeah. as one another. Like there's literally zero creativity when it yeah. comes to these 20v1 tubers. Now, one specific 20v1 that I really want to talk about right now, because I, I feel like this is the elephant in the room, is this little RT 20v1. A few weeks ago, I was scrolling on Twitter, just getting in my daily scroll. And I see this poster, 20 women versus little RT. It's in Atlanta. And I also saw that Reddit logo in the bottom right. I don't know what Reddit has to do with this, but i just looked at it and i thought it was a troll but then about a week ago i was scrolling through twitter again and i seen a clip from this 20v1 and when i tell you i was shocked hey hey what's your name tatum what's your favorite color blue okay all right nick now this video was made by a youtuber i feel like this one it's like it was kids bro it's, it was kids but it like it's cringy, but it was it like, it would've been weird if they had fucking whole ass adult. It's still weird, but nigga, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas, bro. Like that doesn't excuse it, but it don't, it's still cringe, but it's not crazy crazy. But granted, the whole concept, truth be told, whole concept, truth be told, I just wouldn't have did it by the name of Mike Adelaboo, who's pretty much another variant of like No Love Mar, Ryan <laughs> with the Sauce, all those cornball 20v1 tubers. A majority- <laughs> Hey bro, these niggas gonna kill you, cuz. Hey, hey bro, them niggas gonna kill you, cuz. Hey bro, them niggas gonna kill you, cuz. <laughs> oh shit of his content just revolve around 20v1s like if we look at his last 12 videos you can see that he did nothing else but 20v1 and also the reason they do 20v1 chat to be completely real with you is money is is it, they they're making good money doing these videos bro and before the 20v1s this man was basically just doing the find your matches and putting his friends on freaky blind dates like but look but look 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 at the difference though bro 64k 28k fucking 41k 21k 691,000. Like he was basically just doing this cornball content pretty much and i guess 20v1s got super boring so he just had to spice it up by adding children to the mix you may be thinking like oh cam you might be overreacting you know maybe this 20v1 isn't that bad no it's exactly what what you think this is a children's dating show this man literally held yeah, a weird. children's wrist it's weird it's weird like the niggas out when you put it in that yeah it is weird i ain't gonna hold you in competition this is not the tiktok riz party this is the youtube kids riz party none of these kids are over the age of 13 years old what was going through this man's head when he was thinking of this video man 20 v1s are getting dead man let's add some children to the mix like bro what the heck what's crazy is this man also added boys to the mix to make it seem like lil rt was there to find friends when we know the true intentions of this like I said, this is a children's dating show. This freaky ass cornball got a room full of kids to try and riz up. Hey, bro, why does this nigga keep going? Why he keep going? <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, why he keep going at this nigga like this? Cuz. Is that not weird? I want to know what adults allowed their kids to get on this video. I genuinely want to know. Like, this is actually insane. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, throw the key away. Like I'm up, throw the key away. What? What twin? What? Oh.
like bro just let these kids be kids why are we putting kids on dating shows that is weird especially 20v1s i find it so insane how much lil rt has been used and abused and just exploited through the black community y'all need to stop using and abusing this kid for your own financial gain and just let him be a child bruh why do we need unfortunately i i hate to be this guy but essentially aren't you using him as well like you're talking about the the situation but essentially aren't aren't you using him as well for content videos of lil rt swiping dudes for his mom or assisting dudes in a 20v1 or even lil rt being on a 20v1 nobody needs this content what's crazy is at the end of this lil rt 20v1 this man has the audacity to say y'all let me know what y'all think let me know if y'all want to do another one or y'all just talk to me chat let me know man i just held the latest dating show for children man if y'all want another one make sure it is all right it's all right i i, I can't even i can't even slice it no other way it's all right bro yeah i stand with all i said at the beginning of the video lock the niggas up bro lock the niggas up i stand what i said to Get in the video twin. To tag your little cousin in the comment section. Tag little Timmy. Tag your little sister. Any kids, I want them all. Like dog, read the room. Nobody wants another little RT 20v1 or another children's dating show. You know this video is bad when this man turned off the entire comment section. No. This man probably got tons of hate for this. And I'm not gonna lie, this hate is justified. And if you thought that, that was bad, well, let me tell you that these 20v1s get even worse. Because there's actually this 20v1 with this rapper that goes by the name of Finesse Two Times. And yeah. it starts off as your average 20v1 that you'd see on black youtube but then halfway through finesse two times son came in with them on the second round to basically just stick by his father's side while he's talking to these women and the way that these women and finesse two times talk right in front of this child is actually weird it, it's it's genuinely disgusting so after you not do you stay hard or you get soft that junk get soft i ain't I ain't gonna lie, but I'm gonna go for about 40 minutes for that journey for round two. You Stop might it. not take 40 minutes with me. Cal. I'm just trying to see what's the freakiest shit the bitch ever did to you. Man, one time, right? On oh God, it's a bitch from Atlanta, cause she married now. On oh God, I had a bitch with eating that bitch, right? Yeah. Man, that bitch got off that bitch, started sucking my toe, cause. If you spit my mouth right now, you gonna have to leave this on me right, though. Since you <sighs> Man. Man, uh, man, bro, <laughs> bro, you can't make this shit up, bro. You can't make this shit up, bro. Oh, that shit weird. That shit weird, bro. Said when you got out, messed with some skinny girls. Right. What would you say? The only reason why I can't get skinny girls out my head no more, right? Cause, cause what one time, right? My I was hitting a bitch from the front, right? And my, my, she just got the square neck with. Mm -hmm my head up i feel so bad for this kid because you can literally see it in his face he's not trying to hear any of that no child is trying to no child should hear that if we be completely honest bro like i don't give a fuck what no niggas say bro a, a kid shouldn't be subjected to no shit like that no kid should be subjected to no shit like that i don't give a fuck if that's how you grew up you trying to raise a man like it out like it all that shit bro no kid should be subjected to that bro like i don't care what nobody say kids in general should not be subjected to any anything sexually oriented whatsoever bro especially that let kids be kids bro you talking about humming and shit in like, like come on bro in front of your child and i know it's crazy because nigga we didn't react to certain shit on youtube that is quote unquote risk a our content isn't made for kids it's not marked for kids nigga I, I apologize for the kids that do run across that shit bro and nigga granted our shit not on youtube like it we we don't do that shit no more but like our shit was our shit's made for teenagers and adults shocking shit bro but no i like, nigga no we're not going to subject nobody purposely to no shit like that especially a child especially a child bro i'm not i'm not going you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna do that bro i'm not going to subject oh listen to me about you know what i'm saying like that's that's different bro
to hear this freaky ass conversation, especially coming from one of his own parents. This man's talking about how he be making girls squirt in front of his son. Bro, when I was young, the only thing I knew that squirted was my squirt gun in the closet. Why is this man talking about how he be making women squirt in front of his son? That's insane. If one of my parents were speaking- And that's also, you also gotta remember like, unfortunately, unfortunately nigga, hood, hood family and shit like that, that's how niggas are. Bro. And that's not how it should be, truth be told, bro. Truth be told, that's not how it should be, bro. Freaky deaky right in front of me like this the only option I'd have is to drive off of a cliff at 300 miles per hour in GTA Of course, and if you thought that it's disgusting hearing people talk about these sexual acts during these 20 v ones What about them actually doing these sexual acts? There's literally a 20 v one with the rapper JP. Oh, and yeah 20 v one this man got that MW3 dome if you catch my drift Basically, he was just yapping it up with these girls and this girl was talking about how she's got that gawk gawk 3000 you know it goes crazy so you ever had with no gag reflex or no of course yeah i've had several oh i can show you but i can tell you and jp basically said that he needed proof of that gawk gawk right so they go to the back and this man starts getting gawked off mid 20 v1 number one this is that bro i saw that shit on fucking twitter that shit so fucking wild bro that shit so fucking wild bro you doing this shit for a fucking for a fucking 20 v1 you're doing this shit for a fucking 20 v1 bro it's disgusting and i feel bad for this woman's parents future kids and anybody that associates with her and number two the fact that all these grown men are just standing around eavesdropping listening to another man get his meat slurped up it's completely odd to me these dudes literally look like some cheerleaders bro they're outside the door like oh my gosh jp you're really getting your meat slurped off right now oh my <laughs> gosh this is amazing and if you thought that 20 v1 was bad well they gets even worse because there was also this other 20v1 where this girl literally spit into one of the other contestants mouths to basically show how freaky she was what oh no 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 oh no 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 nah you can do it you can do it what's your november well why not let it do it <laughs> he liked that <laughs> YouTube, so fucking chat. What the f that first of all, that shit's disgusting. That shit's disgusting, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. I see why niggas don't fuck with us, bro. I see why niggas don't fuck with us, bro. Cause I don't fuck with this, bro. I'm gonna keep it a bean. I don't fuck with it. It's not my content, bro. Not my type of content. <laughs> Can I tell you that clip almost? That clip almost made me throw up. I almost, oh my, I had to stop myself right there. Seeing that clip, it's it's disgusting. These 20v1s need to- Bro, and YouTube be on us, bro. YouTube be on us. YouTube be on us for, like, we laughing at videos. Laughing at videos, twin. Cause like, nigga, YouTube got us for a thumbnail, right? YouTube got us for a thumbnail for it being sexual. And it wasn't even a sexual thumbnail, right? We got a strike for it. Craziest part, they got shit like this, bro stop like when are we gonna wrap these up i feel like they've had their time you know 20 v ones were cool at one point when the side men there's like there's a 12 year old who has yeah doing them when jubilee was doing them, you know 20 v ones were cool at one point when the side men was doing them when jubilee was doing you know what this the side men fault if we be honest them. but do we really got to continue to make these you white room warriors need to stop this content is just bottom of the barrel can can we think of something else oh wait we did think of something else pop the balloon if you're unfamiliar with oh. pop the balloon basically it's like the new 20 v ones and how it works is a bunch of contestants line up with a balloon in their hand and each round a person comes out and if a person with a balloon likes you then they don't pop the balloon but if they don't like you then they pop the balloon and they explain why they popped it now i will say i did like pop the balloon because there are a lot of funny moments in there like when an ugly dude walks in and the whole room just sounds like the fourth of july all right so like um ladies how y'all feeling based on wait, wait the fuck like <laughs> It bro, it's all right, twin. It's all right, twin. Damn, damn. Set that nigga up. Set, hey, set that nigga up for failure, chat. That is peak comedy. Or when that one dude who looked like a Ninja Turtle was just cooking all the women on there. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Rihanna. <laughs> bro, this nigga was so bad, cuz. 26. And my eyes are 
Or up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoo? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms. That was pretty funny, you know? There's some pretty... funny moments with those but now i feel like the format is just becoming way too overused why does everything have to involve balloon popping the other day i seen a dude playing pop the balloon in roblox and that's not even the craziest part i'm not gonna lie that's brilliant though doing that bitch in roblox is roblox is brilliant not gonna lie to the craziest part is that they got the actual white room in roblox as well like bro this is getting out of hand bro these white rooms need to be put to an end dog whoever has a hold of these white rooms they gotta start charging more they gotta start charging like an arm and a leg rather than money because if i see one more video in a white room i'm actually gonna flip especially these blind dates i seen a dude doing blind dating based off baby pictures is that not weird bro especially coming from these freaky ass channels that's even weirder there are so many creative things you can do on youtube and you're telling me that blind dating based off baby pictures is the best you can think of that is insane what's crazy is this freakiness on black youtube is also transitioning over to twitch and if we know one thing about twitch they could oh. not give a singular f about freakiness on their platform twitch would let a woman put jelly beans up her booty hole if it meant that they were getting six prime subs by the end of that stream twitch could not care less that being said a little bit ago to shay frost a large black oh player, nigga this nigga the shay be tweaking this nigga the shay be tweaking Tweaking. This nigga Deshae be tweaking and getting, a, getting away with it, bro. Also, former actor was getting that MW3 dome live on stream for content. I'm just going to skip ahead to be safe. But yeah. And what's crazy is this isn't even this man's first time because he's done it before. Oh, Ruby Heat. <laughs> you who? Ruby Heat. Like Miami Heat. Ruby Heat. Ruby. That's your first name? Like all together Ruby Heat? That's my stage name. Bro. 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 Like, is the dome that necessary where you need to get it mid recording session or stream? Like, wh how necessary is the dome? That's all I want to know. <laughs> That sounds that sounds crazy. Wait, that sounds insane. Now, am I surprised that Deshae Frost is getting dome midstream? Not at all, because this is the same. Chat, would y'all be mad if I got dome midstream? <laughs> man that made a video about his little sister getting a bbl and also the same guy who made a video basically acting like he walked in on his mom creating freaky content and i say acting because the video is obviously fake bro this smell hella good though what bro what what the fuck is going on what is going on? You told everybody to be upstairs, but we're recording. We're doing something, bro. You told me to come, mom. You told me to come over here. Bro, you told me to come. You told me to come over here and get some food. And if you thought that the freaky diss from the shade Diddy stops right there, well, we're just getting. And if you gotta do it, then you gotta. <laughs> I would be hurt because you better than that air. <laughs> Uh, I couldn't do y'all like that, bro. For one, I respect y'all niggas too much to do no shit like that. Now, granted, if it came down to it, I'm for sure in this stream to get some ass. <laughs> yeah, y'all gotta respect that. If, if a shorty over here, I'm about to get some ass. And I'll see y'all niggas later, bro. I, I, I'll see y'all niggas later, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. started because this freakiness continues. You got this man falling on a woman's butt on stream. You got this man biting on a woman's butt. Ah, why are you taking so long? <laughs> oh wait, don't bite me hard. Nah, nah, nah. They okay. gonna flip this, but fuck, I'm good for it. Ah, that bitch tastes good. You got this man. It's it. Recording a half naked woman running across the street, and then you also got this man forcefully humping a woman on Kai Sinat's stream. Ah, uh, yeah, to ensure the video doesn't get demonetized. Boss, you need to be neutered, bro. This man reminds me of one of those dogs that just hump everything. Why is this man so horny, bro? This man is the freakiest frog in the pond. If a bag of flour had a BBL, I'm convinced that Deshae Frost is crushing that in a heartbeat. <laughs> no questions asked. All that being said, what I'm not saying how us as a black community have stooped to a new low in content creation where we're putting 10-year-olds on dating shows, getting dome on 
and stream and scamming our audiences with a fake cash app in every single video. Like this is just odd behavior and it's gotta stop. What is the point of having Lil RT on a dating show? Who is this content even for and why does it have 43,000 likes? And also the sexualization of all this content. Why does it always have to be freaky or why does it always have to have these like weird twists? Like I said, there's many phenomenal black content creators out there, but the ones that aren't phenomenal literally are just terrible. But that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All that being said, this is going to wrap up the video. If you guys made this far, a w video man um yeah bro yeah bro that's a uh it's a very interesting situation not gonna lie to y'all bro it's no matter how you slice it niggas no matter how you slice it bro the way that black content creation is presented on the internet it's a lot different from what it is and i also feel like truth be told it's the easiest content to make 20 v1s 20 v1s along with reaction content truth be told can be the easiest content to make to make bro and when you got the right right people to be in it it's a easy shot like shot to the top but it's all about like it's all about understanding what you want from your content bro like even with us with reactions content the goal was to make is to make content that makes people like to bring joy to people and to continuously get better at content creation whatever content we make continuously get better and i just feel like i feel like it's easier to do that than to it's easier to do the 20 v1 content opposed to like constantly trying to get better and improve man it's it's i'm not a fan of it I, i'll be real with y'all like i know like i said i know people who do it know people that's making a lot of money doing it but i also think there's better ways to go about that content and it, it's new ways to do it bro there's like that roblox joint as stupid as it is that shit brilliant that's a that's an interesting twist bro i just i just I'm ready to see what's the next iteration of content that black people really pick up. Cause at one point in time, it was vlogging. Uh, another point in time, it was reactionary content like this, like what we do. Um, but the thing with reaction content, truth be told, you gotta have a personality and you have to be able to form an opinion. And truth be told, a lot of people can't do that. Uh, but W video, man, great points. Uh, shout out to you. Shout out to you for the 100K too, bro.